What is up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can tell by the title today, we are going to be trying out some new makeup. So I have been itching to get a new foundation for a while now. And so I was out and I was in oil too. So I was like, why not go ahead and get some new foundation? So if y'all don't know, I was using the Fenty Beauty Foundation, which if I can find it. This is the foundation that I was using before and I am a shade, well I was a shade 385, but I've noticed that this shade is now darker. Of course, your colors change when the um, seasons change. So yeah. Um, I believe this may have been my summer shade, but my camera is dying. Yeah, so the foundation that I have is the Born This Way foundation. So we're going to just be testing out this new makeup that I bought and see what it's given. This is what it looks like and this is the shade. Again, I don't know if I told y'all, but this is Butter Pecan. But yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So the first thing um, that I purchased was some new face primer. I was using the... Um, I was using the Urban Decay All Nighter, but, um, as y'all can see, your girl is low. I'm still trying, no, I'm not even gonna use this, because y'all know I was just about to cheat. I was finna use a little bit of this, but I'm not. So, um, I am, like I told y'all, I'm on the hunt for a new primer. So, the one that I saw was the Ulta Beauty Face Primer, and this is a hydrating one. And this is what it looks like. So, and I did go ahead and wash my face. Ooh, focus girl. I did go ahead and clean my face up really good, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna move my hair out of the way. And if you guys want the details on this hair, I will link the link to the video down below. So it is like a white creamy consistency. Oh y'all, it's focus. It looks like this. So let's go ahead and it doesn't really have a smell. And I'm probably not going to be doing too much talking in this video, y'all. I just... Oh, that's too much. It's okay. It's never too much. It's never too much. Never too much. Now that my face is primed, I'm going to go ahead and start with my brows. So like I told y'all, this is not really a new product, but I purchased it today, so I'm just still going to include it anyways. This is the uh, Morphe Eyebrow Pencil in the color Java. And on one side, it is the actual eyebrow pencil. And then on the other side, it is a spoolie. So since we're speaking of brows, I told y'all that I purchased the eyebrow gel. I'm not going to focus. I already showed y'all anyways, but... Let's go ahead and use this. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. It's a little wand, it's so cute. Here you go, hey y'all, I'm loving this primer. Like, it's definitely hydrating. Like, my face look very, it looks moisturized, okay? But I did go ahead and use the NYX Eyebrow Gel. And I like it, I'm gonna let it get a little I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit because I don't want to put the product of the. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Sorry, y'all. I don't have my glasses or my contacts in, so I'm having to get a little bit closer to my mirror so I can see. So I'm going. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit, y'all. My face feels good. Okay. So so far, the Ulta Beauty primer, I'm liking it. I'm a little worried about this foundation, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Because the fact that this one, do they look the same, y'all? Okay, this one looks a little bit light on camera, but in person, I don't know. We're going to see. 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 Okay, let me just say that I love that brow gel because it doesn't make the brows, like, hard, if that makes sense. I know some people use, like, the duo lash glue, like this right here, and they put it on their brows. And when I use it, it definitely hardens up the brows, which, of course, because it is um, lash glue. It makes it hard, but with this glue, it does not make it hard at all, at, as I thought it would. Let me put it like that. 
and it's actually easy to brush the brows um at first i was having like a little bit of trouble with like the product going on it was hard to apply my product from my brow pencil with the product of the gel like it wasn't mixing but once i was able to kind of get it going i brushed it through it yeah it, it's definitely giving I'm Y'all, so I'm having to use lashes that I just already have because the lashes that I normally wear, I have to order them and they're not here yet. So y'all, my eyes look, this one, I know y'all see it. Cause if I see it, I know y'all see it. This lash is just doing whatever it wants to do. Or am I tripping? Let me see. Cause y'all not about to talk about me. No, this eye definitely looks lazy. Oh. I'm gonna disregard the lash, okay? Because I'm not taking these off. Okay, so I have my eyes done. So let's get into what I'm most excited about. Let's get into foundation. So, okay, I don't even know where to start. Okay. okay. Um, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna do it like this. I just feel like this is about to be the wrong freaking shade. Okay, I'm not gonna use too much. I'm gonna start off like that's Franny already. Let's blend this out and let's see if we are a match. this is orange she's orange and with my um my tart concealer whew, i look orange how can i get past this And y'all, that primer, that primer is bomb, okay? Like, my face feels sticky, but sticky in a good way. Sticky like I know my makeup is not going anywhere. Like, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, honestly. And I think just matched with that foundation, I love that combination. Not even gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera because I've used all of the new products and I'll show y'all the end result. All right guys, so I did go ahead and finish my makeup off camera and this is the final result. I absolutely love this foundation, y'all. Like, I'm definitely gonna try to go back tomorrow and see if I can find a lighter shade. I don't know because it looks like it kind of mellowed it out once I did my concealer because I use a concealer that's like two or three shades lighter than my complexion anyways. So I might can get away with it. I don't know. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the night and see how it looks. But so far, y'all, I'm loving this. Like my makeup has never looked this flawless. And I also do really like that Ulta Beauty, um, what is it? The I also do like the Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer. Like my face feels like, again, I told y'all, it feels like my makeup is not going anywhere. Like it's almost like a, a tacky feel but a tacky in a good way like tacky that it 
kind of keeps the makeup in place. I don't know y'all. <laughs> y'all know what I'm trying to say. I definitely will be including all of these products in my routine when I do my makeup because I love it. Like it turned out really, really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new here, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave me some comments down below on some other products that I should try because I am kind of using the same products almost every single time. And I kind of want to try some different products, especially foundation. Especially foundation. Like I want to find a um, more affordable foundation if that makes sense this foundation was $45 originally like I told y'all but I got it for 35 because for some reason today it was $10 off but I want to find like an everyday foundation that I can use like when I'm not going anywhere because this will definitely be a foundation that I only use on special occasions like because it was too expensive to be using as everyday foundation so if y'all have any suggestions let me know down below in the description box not in the description box that's for me let me know down below in the comment section um, some good foundations that I should try. But yeah, that's the end of this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.